Get in your place, Grizzly, now. Go lay down. Nope. Stay in your place. Cannot disturb the training. All right. So Cash is all set up with his gear for long lining. This is his first attempt at using the reins. So um, my friend Terry wanted me to show how you would do it if you didn't have a helper. So I have them all geared up. I use the Pelham leathers to fasten the ring on the nose band and then to the bit where the rein would say, because it's a flex of pressure when I apply that long line so it's not direct to the bit and it doesn't over curl the horse's head. That's why we have it set up and geared that way. And um, right now he's all set. The rings are on the low ring because it's a green horse. You never start a green horse on a high ring. You want to first get him used to all the gears. So the same way as we would have done with the bridle, he's learned the flexions with the bridle. I also want to have the whip, which is the carriage style whip, um, on the haunch so the horse doesn't go and back up when I ask him to do these things. He has to get used to me being here at this angle. I want to make sure my body's not positioned to be kicked. So he's against the wall so that I don't have him moving all kinds of places. He has an outside contact on the outside rein. And so we're teaching the young horse how to accept the contact and learn to flex and stay forward. The whip keeps the horse from backing up. And now I'm using my inside right rein with a little vibration to show the horse I want a little bit of flexion. I don't want him to back. Good. So I gave him a little tap on the haunch there so that he wouldn't back. Good. He was going a little low. I gave him a little tap so he doesn't go low with the head. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So we have a nice flexion. It's just very small amount. But for a horse that's green and starting, this is a good amount to start with. We don't want to over flex them and get them over bent. And then they get crooked and drop out their shoulders. This is just teaching basic flexion. Good. Ah. There you go. There you go. So now I move my position a little further back for the horse so he can get used to me being back here. When I was lunging him, I've already shown him that I work from back here. So it's not foreign to him because he's been introduced to the concept before. Good. What he has not had me do is right, work him with two reins, okay? So I'm going to teach him how to accept me back here, but also the lines running over his back, which he's had with the hoses falling over the top of his back many times. I teach all of my horses. Now I'm directly behind the horse with my whip up in neutral, and I'm asking the horse to gently bend there. Flex there. And I had to tap the top of his rump a little to get his head up. Good. Good. The camera is acting as a visual block. It's directly in front of the horse so that you can see it, but also it's strategically placed there so the horse doesn't want to go forward out of the barn. So there's a lot of ways to do it. I could put the horse. Good. Now I'm asking him to come off the side over. And he's starting to understand. That's what I'm asking. Over. Over. Ah. Over. Good. Over. Ah, 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 ah. Nope. I should have closed that barn, his stall door to make it a little easier. Good. Once he gets his butt over, I'll do that. Over. Excellent. Excellent. Over a little bit. Nope. I want you to go. Nope. Wrong. Over. <laughs> yeah. That's the wrong way, buddy. Over. Ah, 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 ah. So he's confused. Ah, ah, ah. Good, good, easy. Ah, over. Ah, good, over. Excellent, very good. So now he moved a bit in the direction I wanted. Good boy. He gave me a little look of what are you doing with that whip. Over. He's not used to the whip coming from behind like that. He's used to the whip coming from in front. Visually, it's a different view for the horse. Excellent. Bravo. Over. Excellent. Bravo. 
Very good. So I gave a little small half halts. He did that really nicely. Good boy. And I want him to understand I appreciate that. Very good. Give him a little butt rub. Horses like this spot. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. And now we'll move him back the other way. The whip came over. 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 And I open the outside rein so he knows he can move there. Over. Excellent. Bravo. Bravo, Cash. What a good boy. What a good boy. Very good. Excellent. Back. 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 So a little gentle pull on both reins. I'm letting the horse know that I'm giving him the space by moving my back a little. Back. I'm going to move myself back. Back. Good. So he has to trust he's not running over me. Back. Good boy. Back. Back. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Now I'll release the horse and pet him. That, 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 that. We're not visiting friends. Good boy. Very, very nice. Excellent. Good. And now I'll ask him to walk a step. Walk. Walk up. Walk up. Excellent. Oh, bravo. Walk up. Ah, good boy. I know it's weird to have me back here, isn't it? Over. Over. Go ahead. You can move over. Good. So he thought this was less confusing to move over. So that's okay. I allowed him to do it, but I used the cue so he knew. Good boy. Over. Excellent. Good boy. Excellent, Cash. Walk up. Walk up. No, no, walk up. No, no, walk up. Walk up. Excellent. Like that. Good. Good boy. There, there. I clarified that for him. Good boy. Back. Using the aisleway helps to keep him isolated, have less distractions. Back. So he can stay straighter and understand the cues. Excellent. In a more comfortable way. Good. Good. Turn right. Turn right. Ah. Bravo. Very good. Oh, very good. Can you get that wagon out? Thanks. And the buckets just move them a little. Good boy. So now the horse made a nice turn. It's very good. He moved forward and he understands. I'm going to move his haunches over. Over. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Oh, oh. All right. Ah, 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 ah. A little distractions there. Good. Turn right. Walk up. Walk up. Excellent. Excellent. Good. And hold. Very nice. Very good boy. Very good boy. Now, the horse can't be too big and do this. If your aisle is too small, it won't work. But this is an option. For a horse this size, he can do it over. No, 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 no. Wrong way. Over. Good, good. Ah, there you go. Over. Ah, ah. Move your butt over. So I have to use the reins to explain a bit. Okay, easy does it. We got a little confused. We got the wrong results. Hold. Back, back, back. Back. Oh, oh. Ah, ah. It's good. There you go. Right. Right. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. There. And ho. Excellent. Good. I'm going to go left a bit. Move your hips over. Good. Excellent. Move your hips over. 
Excellent. Very good. Now that was good. So the horse was confused at first. He made a few missteps because we don't have the guidance of our handler in front. Okay, left, walk up. Good. Ah, and ho. Oh. Very nice. Ho. Oh. Oh. Ho. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Good. Back. Good. Left. Good. Ah, ah. Oh, not going into the stall. Good. <laughs> you want to visit every hole and nook and cranny. Good job. And ho. Excellent. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. There you go. And ho. So I want to try to end the horse straight. You surprised him. Let him know you're coming next time. That's good. Very good. Excellent. Which is okay, you know, he just changes attention a bit, but he's he's doing very good. Excellent. Very good. So obviously when we don't have a helper, it takes a little bit more explanation and patience. And you have to stay calm while the horse makes a mistake. Michaela, could you close that um Pack room. Uh, it was left open probably by me when I got my equipment, but but it's a better idea since Mr. Nosy is enjo enjoying looking at all the nooks and crannies <laughs> that we would not be having an open tack room. Thank you. Good boy. Excellent. And turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Excellent, excellent. Ah, ah, that's it. Go straight now. There you go. Excellent. And hope, hope. Ah, 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 ah. Cash, hope. Ah, 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 ah. Too, too many things to visit. Left, turn left. Walk up, left. Good. Very nice. Diagonal over to make our right turn. And now we can do a figure eight in our little aisle way. Good. Excellent. There you go. Like that. Excellent. Good. That, that. We're not investigating houses. <laughs> We're stall buddies. Walk up. Good. Good job. Ah, ah. There. So now you can see how the gearing... Oh, when the horse was making mistakes, prevented me from having to pull on his mouth only and frustrate the horse and potentially make him rear because the gearing is on his nose and the affectation is helping to reduce the pain or the pressure that the bit would cause if it was solely acting on the mouth. This way it helps it to act in the corners of the mouth and prevents it from acting on the bars of the mouth. Ah, 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 ah. Walk up. Set, set. Stop. There. Now ho. Good. Now he's had enough, so we're going to call it a day. Oh. Ah, ah. Oh. Very good. Bravo, Cash. Very good. And I feel he's had enough because he went from quiet and listening and paying attention to starting to give ideas of what he thought he ought to do. And when the horse starts to try to invent his options, unless we're ready to move in a big space, which he's not at the moment, uh, it probably wouldn't be very conducive to his training. So we're going to go ahead and call it a day. Small amount with a positive note. The horse was successful. He had the reins on his back, on his sides, on his haunches. He accepted them there. He learned to listen to them and turn and walk into them. And his next session will do will be out when he's in the arena with sides. I strongly suggest you use an arena with sides on your first ventures. Because if you don't have sides and the horse gets frustrated and runs away, you are getting dragged in your long lines because you cannot let them go. Good boy.
Excellent. Very good. Very good, Cash. Huh? You did a very nice job. You did. Mm -hmm. Very good job. Good job, Cash. Excellent. Very nice. Very good. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you think you're deserving of carrots? I can tell. Oh, yes. You think you should have carrots, don't you? I agree. We'll get them. I agree. You did a very nice job. So, a good, fair introduction to the horse. And this continuance of training. And I was careful to remove the bit without hitting his teeth and dropping the sur single gently so the horse doesn't have a bad experience and learn to be heady when you're removing gear or putting gear on. Good boy. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. Get our equipment out of the way. And we'll go put you outside. Let me guess, you're going to drink some dog water before you go? Oh, yes. 